Welcome to the tutorial on best practices for administration of the Smarter Balanced Field Test. This video will provide an overview of steps that district and school administrators and technology coordinators can take in order to prepare for online administration of the Smarter Balanced Field Test. We will begin by discussing best practices for LEA CASP coordinators, site coordinators, test examiners, and test proctors, followed by information about best practices for LEA technology coordinators. If you are the LEA CASP coordinator or site coordinator, there are communication, technology, and training strategies you can use to help ensure successful online testing. First of all, be sure that everyone in your organization is aware of when testing will occur. Open communication and close coordination are vital because non-testing activities that occur during the testing window can sometimes impact testing. Specific examples will be covered in the technology section later in the video. Most importantly, if you are not already acquainted with your LEA technology coordinator, reach out. He or she will be your best friend if you experience technology issues during testing. LEA CASP coordinators and site coordinators are tasked with making sure that everyone involved in the testing process has access to the systems they will need to use. These steps will vary somewhat depending upon your role. If you are an LEA CASP coordinator or site coordinator, be sure that you have received your login credentials for the TIDE system. These were emailed to you when your user account was created. If you cannot locate the email, be sure to check your spam or junk mail folder before seeking assistance. If you have not received your login information and you are an LEA CASP coordinator, call Caltech at 1-800-955-2954 or send an email to caltech at ets.org. If you are a site coordinator, contact your LEA CASP coordinator for help. If students will be testing in a computer lab, site coordinators should work with school staff to ensure that labs are reserved and that no non-test related activities are scheduled to take place in computer labs during testing times. Similarly, if students will test in classrooms, make sure that testing computers are available and that only test related activities occur in the classroom during testing times. See the Test Administrator Manual for information on setting up an appropriate testing environment for students. If you are a test examiner or test proctor, you should familiarize yourself with the TA interface, which you will use to administer tests. We will discuss training opportunities to help you with this step in a few moments. You should have received an email with your login credentials for the TA interface when your user account was created. If you do not have login credentials, contact your site coordinator. To maintain the security and integrity of the test, secure locked storage accessible by key or card key must be available for storage of any printed test materials or student identifiable information. Staff should be trained in appropriate procedures for the secure printing, storage, and destruction of test-related printed materials. Finally, be sure you have enough proctors available. Younger students may require assistance with logging into the test delivery system. Adequate training is essential for staff who are participating in the testing process. The California Smarter Balanced Portal at sbac.portal.airast.org forward slash CA offers a wealth of training resources to help LEAs prepare for successful test administration. A good place to begin is the Resources and Documentation page. To reach it, click on the Field Tests button and then scroll down and click the Resources and Documentation button. Click on the Manuals and User Guides link to locate and download the most recent versions of the manuals you will need. These include the California Online Field Test Administration Manual, or TAM, the Technical Specifications Manual, the TIDE User Guide, the Test Administrator User Guide, and the Online Reporting System User Guide. In addition to these manuals, the Smarter Balanced Usability, Accessibility, and Accommodations Guidelines and FAQs are a useful reference to have for questions about accessibility and accommodations. Please check the portal periodically to ensure you have the most current version of each manual and to view any recent resource additions. 
For students who require them, accommodations must be entered in Tide by an authorized user before testing begins. See the Tide User Guide for detailed information about setting up accommodations. The Frequently Asked Question FAQ section is another excellent resource. It contains the questions most often asked about the field test and their answers, and is updated regularly. The Field Test Communications Toolkit link takes you to resources you can use to communicate with students, parents, and the community about the Smarter Balanced Field Test. Some examples are a fact sheet about the field test, talking points, sample press releases and parent letters, and resources for your LEA website. Click on the Training Modules link to access online training videos to help your staff and students be prepared for the field test. Encourage your staff to view the training modules appropriate to their role. For example, tech coordinators should view the technology requirements for online testing video for information about hardware, software, and network setup. There are a variety of videos for students, teachers, and administrators. To help you determine who should view which videos, the description area gives an overview of the purpose and intended audience for each training module. Another excellent resource is the Caltech website at www.californiatac.org. Here you will find the most recent updates and general information about the Smarter Balanced Field Test, additional training resources, a calendar of events, and a link to the California Smarter Balanced portal. Contact information for Caltech is also available here. Be sure to follow your organization's established procedures for reporting issues and requesting assistance from Caltech. If your school or district offers any opportunities for training, be sure to take advantage of them as well. Most importantly, staff and students should be encouraged to take the practice and training tests to familiarize themselves with test features and functions. If your tech coordinator has already set up your testing computers, the practice and training test should be taken using the installed secure browser. This will give students the same type of lockdown environment that they will experience during testing and allow your technical staff to assess system capacities. If the Secure Browser has not yet been installed on your testing computers, students can access the practice and training tests via the California Smarter Balanced portal. Because implementing a new online testing program can offer many technology challenges, we offer the following recommended best practices in communication, technology, and training for LEA technology coordinators. As stated previously, open communication is essential to successful implementation. If you are serving as the Technology Coordinator for your LEA, reach out to your LEA CASP Coordinator and the Site Coordinator at each testing site. Make sure that they have your contact information in case they experience technical issues during testing. Your LEA should have established procedures for reporting issues and a path for escalating them to Caltech if necessary. Be sure to have the Caltech contact information available at each test site. Your LEA will rely on you to ensure that the technology resources needed for testing are available and functional during the test window. The following technology best practices will help you be prepared. Be sure that your school has adequate equipment and bandwidth to test successfully. Visit the California Smarter Balanced portal at sbac.portal.airast.org forward slash CA to access important information. A good first step is to view the technology requirements for online testing video. It will help you familiarize yourself with supported operating systems and devices, learn about methods and tools available for testing your network capacity, and review information about proxy servers, firewalls, and other network and system settings necessary for successful test administration. Next, download the Technical Specifications Manual for Online Testing from the California Smarter Balanced Portal. The Tech Coordinator Checklist, located in Appendix C, is a handy resource to help you be sure that all necessary tasks are completed.
Carefully inspect the hardware and software to be used for testing. Verify that computers and operating system versions are supported. Run any necessary system updates to ensure that operating systems are current. Check that adequate numbers of headsets, mice, and keyboards are available and functioning properly. Turn off or delay any automatic system updates or other features that may cause a testing computer to attempt to access other systems or the Internet. If such events occur during testing, students will be logged out of the test. You can turn the updates back on after testing is completed. It is also very important that you check the audio settings on each computer with headphones to be sure sound is clear and audible. Students who experience audio problems during testing may have to log out of the test to make adjustments and then log back in. Checking audio settings prior to testing may alleviate such disruptions. Perform the recommended network diagnostic test to ensure that your network capacity is adequate for testing. A good way to do this is to work with your administrators to schedule students to take the practice and training tests using the Secure Browser. This will give students the opportunity to become comfortable with the features and functions of the test while simultaneously giving you the opportunity to test your network capacity. If you are using wireless, be sure that you have adequate wireless access points to support the numbers of students who will be testing simultaneously. It is important to manage use of the network during testing. Remind all staff and students to turn off their cell phones or place them in airplane mode to prevent loss of bandwidth. Coordinate with all departments at your school or district to ensure that no functions requiring large amounts of bandwidth, such as payroll processing, occur during testing times. Load accommodation software such as Braille, text-to-speech, and voice packs onto computers that will be used for testing. Install the Secure Browser on all computers to be used for testing. There are individual videos available on the Caltech website to guide you through this process for the different operating systems and devices. Step-by-step -step instructions can also be found in the Technical Specifications Manual. If you have students who require the print-on-demand accommodation, be sure to provide enough secured printers to meet testing needs and ensure that staff has been properly trained in security procedures. Lastly, it is important to be prepared for unexpected issues at the test center. Hardware failures, such as problems with computers, keyboards, headsets, and mice, can seriously disrupt testing. If possible, have extra units available at the testing site so that if a failure occurs, student testing will be affected as little as possible. You may also want to work with your LEA CASP coordinator or site coordinator to make sure extra time is allotted in the testing schedule to accommodate any necessary makeups. External issues beyond your control may also disrupt testing. These include things like fire drills, weather events, power outages, and internet service interruptions. If testing is affected by such an event, work with your LEA CASP coordinator or site coordinator to determine whether they need to submit a request for the testing opportunity to be reset. The Smarter Balanced Field Test offers both challenges and opportunities to students, teachers, and LEA staff. Through open communication, training, and adequate technological resources, you can help create an environment where testing can be successful. Thank you for viewing this tutorial. To view again, restart the tutorial.